Step into the shadows of history, where a haunting tale unfolds, a tale rarely taught in schools. Brace yourself as we delve into the horrifying practice of slave breeding, revealing the unfathomable truths of human exploitation. Prepare to witness the indomitable spirit of those who endured and understand why it is vital to confront collective past. In the era of slavery, a sinister aspect often omitted from the classroom emerged, the practice of slave breeding. Enslaved individuals were not regarded as human beings with rights and emotions, but as mere property. Their ability to bear children was shamelessly exploited for profit by ruthless slave owners. The heart-wrenching pain of separation plagued enslaved families relentlessly. Children were torn from their parents, spouses were separated, and kinship ties were disregarded as owners callously sold family members to different plantation owners. The emotional wounds inflicted by these separations echoed through generations, leaving an enduring impact on the African diaspora. Amidst this darkness, it is vital to acknowledge the unspeakable sexual exploitation that accompanied slave breeding. Enslaved women endured unimaginable horrors, subjected to repeated rape and devoid of any control over their own reproductive choices. Their bodies became tools for profit, intensifying the already degrading system of slavery. Yet, even in the midst of this profound darkness, flickers of resistance and resilience emerged. Despite enduring unimaginable suffering, enslaved individuals found ways to forge connections, preserve their cultural practices, and build supportive communities. They steadfastly refused to be dehumanized, resisting the very machinery that sought to reduce them to objects for profit. The birth of slave breeding was a horrifying practice that emerged during the era of American chattel slavery. Enslaved individuals, treated as property rather than human beings, were forced to reproduce for the sole purpose of increasing the number of enslaved laborers. This practice involved pairing enslaved men and women to produce children who would become the next generation of enslaved workers. This dehumanizing and exploitative system further perpetuated the institution of slavery robbing countless individuals of their freedom and dignity. The legacy of slave breeding serves as a stark reminder of the depths of human cruelty and the need to confront this painful chapter in our history. Shortly after childbirth, the process began again. Women of breeding age were subjected to a distressing practice known as slave breeding. Instead of being seen as human beings with hopes and dreams, they were treated as objects for reproduction. Their main purpose was to have children who would become enslaved laborers in the future. These women were forced into pairings with men chosen by their captors without any consideration for their personal desires or autonomy. The experiences of these women of breeding age stand as a painful testament to the inhumane treatment they endured during this dark period of history. In addition to the arduous labor endured in harsh conditions, there existed a group of men known as stockmen who were assigned for managing the breeding of enslaved people. These stockmen treated enslaved individuals as if they were livestock rather than human beings. They were in charge of selecting which enslaved men and women would be forced to have children together. Their goal was to produce offspring who would become future enslaved laborers, ensuring a steady supply of workers for the plantation owners. The stockmen played a key role in perpetuating the dehumanizing system of slave breeding, treating human lives as mere commodities. The actions of these stockmen reflect the profound cruelty and disregard for basic human dignity that characterized the institution of slavery. The practice of slave breeding had significant implications for poverty, fertility, and health among enslaved individuals. Firstly, poverty was a harsh reality for many enslaved people who were forced into breeding. As they were seen as property, their own economic circumstances were disregarded, and their labor was primarily used for the profit of their owners. Slave breeding further perpetuated this poverty by increasing the number of enslaved individuals, leading to overcrowded living conditions and limited resources. Secondly, fertility played a critical role in the lives of enslaved individuals. Women of breeding age were expected to bear children, as it was seen as a means to increase the labor force. Their reproductive capacities were exploited, and they were often subjected to forced sexual relationships with chosen partners. Lastly, the health implications of slave breeding were severe. Enslaved individuals endured physical and emotional hardships, including inadequate nutrition, harsh working conditions, and lack of medical care. The constant pressure to bear children took a toll on their overall health, with women often facing high-risk pregnancies and childbirth complications. The well-being of both the mothers and their children was often neglected, contributing to a cycle of poor health outcomes. The intertwining of poverty, 
fertility, and health in the context of slave breeding highlights the deep injustices and inhumanity faced by enslaved individuals. The disregard for their economic well-being, reproductive rights, and overall health demonstrates the systemic oppression and cruelty inherent in the institution of slavery. Along with physical effects, this also had a psychological effect on the breeding women and their children. It stripped them of autonomy, leading to feelings of powerlessness and distress. Separation from partners and fear of losing children caused anxiety and grief. This trauma resulted in depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Acknowledging these experiences is crucial for healing and building a more compassionate society. There was one more thing which had a bad influence on their mental health, which was the internal slave market refers to the buying, selling, and trading of enslaved individuals within the borders of a country, particularly within the United States during the era of chattel slavery. Enslaved people were treated as commodities, and the internal slave market facilitated the movement and exchange of these human beings between different regions and plantations. Enslaved individuals could be sold for various reasons, including financial gain, punishment, or as a means to meet the labor demands of different areas. Families were often torn apart as husbands, wives, and children were sold to different owners, resulting in deep emotional anguish and permanent separations. The internal slave market serves as a somber reminder of the immense injustice and suffering endured by enslaved individuals and their families. The internal slave market expanded over time, becoming more widespread during the era of slavery in the United States. Enslaved individuals were increasingly bought and sold within the country, as the demand for labor grew and the institution of slavery became deeply entrenched. This expansion resulted in more enslaved people being subjected to the cruel and dehumanizing practice of being treated as property and traded like goods. The growth of the internal slave market highlights the deeply entrenched system of slavery and the disregard for the basic rights and humanity of enslaved individuals. Families were often separated causing immense pain and sadness. The internal slave market reminds us of the deep injustice and suffering endured by enslaved people, and it highlights the need for equality and respect for all human beings. In short, these stories paint a horrifying picture of the inhumane treatment they endured. They spoke of brutal physical abuse, including beatings, whippings, and other forms of punishment. Enslaved people were subjected to grueling labor under harsh conditions, often with inadequate food, clothing, and shelter. They were treated as property rather than human beings, constantly reminded of their subjugation and lack of rights. These accounts also reveal the emotional and psychological trauma inflicted upon them. Families were torn apart, and individuals were treated as commodities for financial gain and labor needs. Recognizing its historical significance is vital for promoting equality and human rights.